You say me that you understand right from wrong and go home right. You say you understand the truth. You say that you are not a big bigot, but I have news for you. If you choose to pick and choose between what animals you choose for food and which you are want to care for and be in your life and deserve respect you are a hypocrite you are a bigot a bigot this somebody how discriminate on the three arbitrary criteria it is a hypocrite scumbag a lying cook and bigot it have to do with being a hypocrite It have to be he he To be in constant And being Based on arbitrary Speciesism is the root of all discrimination It is the root of all hatred It have one ideology like racism It is the way of being a hypocritical, arbitrary discriminator. His movement is anthropocentrism, like with racism, you have white supremacism, the Ku Klux Klan Klan, the Ku Klux Klan Klan. So have carnism, the belief system. At is against veganism and our other kinds, the other kind of this dilemma you may can say. Carnism is an ideology based on arbitrary bias. It is based on the idea that eating of animals and wearing of animals is necessarily is natural and is justifiable. It is basically based on arbitrary bullshit. Like slavery was. It was, according to the slave master, natural. It was their habit. They have done it for centuries. And so was it for eating our animals. And for men to view, view women and gays like second-class citizens. If you are not the victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because when you are not a victim, my guest, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims. Leaving them stupid and ri stupid and disgusting. Say that their life don't matter at all. Like Harmon, the slave master, have done to black people. And also one times the children. <sighs> like many men have done in the past to women. Before they get the right to vote. Before they have the right to work for themselves. And the only being dependent on a man. I have a dream. I have a dream that one day people awaken from their so-called horrific dream. Horrific, horrific, perfect dream. And understand that the life of an other living being, no matter the species, is their life. And that there are not commodities. That there are not tools, not objects, not here to entertain the most biggest jerk on the planet. My dream 
I hope it comes one day out. It's a vegan world. A world where anybody try to cause the least amount of harm possible. A world where not people act out of egocentristic, foolish desires. A dream, my dream, is living in a world where people are becoming altruistic again. Thinking about the earth, the animals, don't cause unnecessarily harm. Don't follow like a cult some laws made up by people more than 100 years ago. Like a dogmatic Ku Klux Klan member. My dream is that people become logical again. Understand that hatred is hatred. No matter if you place it against pigs, turkeys, chickens, black people, Asian people, or what else? Hatred is hatred is hatred. Discrimination is an attitude or bias in favor of your own group. And we discriminate against members of other groups. The groups can be many things. From sexual orientation, to gender, to the color of your skin, to the amount of hairs or the amount of legs you walk on. If you have a tail or not, if you are bold, anything that is absolute, absolute arbitrary and have no logical standpoint in any moral situation. That some creature have four legs does not make it less decent than one out of two legs. Or that somebody is black does not mean that he is decent, more decent than white. Or that if somebody is white that he is more intelligent, has a more higher IQ or is more masculine or whatever. It's all based on arbitrary, idiotic, psychotic bullshit. Oh, do I have it again? Insulting bulls. Sorry bulls. I mean, of course, human shit. Because bulls are not so much full of shit as us. They are not so much discriminating. Actually, cows are uh, very huggable animals. They like to, uh, to get um, belly rubs and like to be cuddled. Neck. They look like pigs. Pigs like, just are in many ways very similar to uh, dogs. They like also to be cuddled with. They like to be uh, cuddled in front of their ears, in the bellies. They like to be getting attention. And they have all their own character. Anybody who say that animals have no character and no personality of their own. I serious think those people have completely lose any form of natural intelligence. To dare to advance that animals are just animated machines. I suggest those people have never with intention, watch the character of animals and view them on their different stages of suffering, of joy and all their infections. It seems to me very strange that there are show this so very well if they don't can view it. In other words, be not a dogmatic robot. Don't be like the soldiers of Hitler. I say, we are just following orders. 
That's the most biggest problem on this planet. The most biggest crimes are not committed because people don't follow orders. The most biggest crimes on the whole planet are, full, are orchestrated and committed by people who follow orders. Not by free thinking people who think for themselves and think Oh, my commandant is a very stupid fuckwit. Let I don't follow him and let I just follow my own instincts. No, that's not what happened. Most of the time people who follow orders walk each other, with each other into an enemy attack and be all wiped out because they don't think for themselves and there are <laughs> unaware psychotic robots. Unconscious robots. Now, I hope you like my ranting today. If you are answer that I more times rant about stuff, put it in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Giamatar Sake of Rain out. This was the mirror of the truth. When darkness and light become one, the reality splinters away and the truth becomes visible.